Carburetor tuning is probably the biggest learning curve. It's, uh, there's so much to learn. It's like an art to get it right. I mean, I have a YouTube video that's probably one of my best performing videos on YouTube that teaches you step by step how to tune a carburetor. But at the end of the day, even me, I feel like I'm a carburetor expert, struggle with carburetor tuning. There is something called a wideband O2 sensor that requires your exhaust to have a bung, yep, I said it, a bung hole on your exhaust. That re this is, you use this for either an EFI system or to screw a wideband O2 sensor in. If you're lost, follow me. It's very important for you to know how to use a wideband. This is what we call our rolling wrench wideband O2 sensor kit. Everything's included and this makes your life really, really freaking easy. Let me explain. So this right here is a Bosch. Bosch is the brand and it's the best brand possible when you're dealing with O2 sensors. So this O2 sensor, the point of this is to sniff your exhaust and it will tell you, it will report back and tell you exactly how your bike's running. So all you do is simply screw this in to your pipe assuming your pipe already has one of these bung holes on your exhaust. So see that's in there? And it's got a wire at the end. If you don't have this on your exhaust, our kit right here comes with all the pieces to weld it on. So weld this on, on your exhaust, and then you got your little cap when you're done using it. So that just kind of like screws in, you know, just like that. But let me explain. So you've got your wideband O2 sensor. This now plugs into this little harness here, just like this. This wire, this is the brain. This is where the O2 sensor is reporting back to. That's going to plug in oh, right there, just like that. And then we've got this wire. This is going to plug in over on this side, just like that. And then you've got this is the actual gauge. This is what's going to show you exactly what your air fuel ratio is. Let me plug that in. So it just plugs in back here. It's like that. And it actually goes into a cup with a visor. So it looks really nice. And you even have these mounts. So notice this mount here. So this is, this is really what's important. The, this is what you're going to be monitoring. And then you got your power wire. Really, really easy. Black goes to ground and then orange, red, and white go to power. So this plugs in right here. Oh, right here, I mean. So that's everything. So the whole point of this is so you're not guessing their carburetor tuning. So every adjustment that you make on your carburetor is gonna show up on this gauge. Kinda wanted to show you what this looks like with the powered on. So it says wide band and you got the cool little lights for at night. The reason why it says zero three is because the wide band's not plugged in. I just have this hooked to a battery. Um, but that gauge, if you notice, it goes from 10 to 20. 10 is going to be super rich. 10 is going to be super rich. 20 is going to be super lean. But ideally, what we want if we're at an idle, we're talking GUI 6 motors or anything with a big cam, it won't even idle. You'll be lucky to get an idle even no more lean than 12 to 12.5. So I always target 12 to 12.5 on an idle for a high horsepower like GUI 6. Now, if you're just cruising, you want that to be like 13 to 13.3. And when wide open, we want to hit that between 12 and 12.5. And that's going to give you the best performance possible. Now, I have carburetors that I've tuned perfectly. I think they're perfect. I thought I did a good job, but the numbers don't tell a lie. And then you tune it right, then everything's even better. And you're like, wow. But one extra thing that this comes with is a data logging cable. So if you're running some software, more like for a car, because this can be used on anything, any gas motor, uh, even a two-stroke, except for the problem is on a two-stroke, the O2 sensor could burn out pretty easy because it gets oil on it, just like fouling a spark plug. Um, but any gas motor, not diesel, you can use that on. But it comes with this little data log cable, and you can use this to data log if you have some sort of software set up in your vehicle, like your car, if you're tuning your car, it has that. So that's pretty cool. Everything here is included except for this exhaust pipe. Like I said, you can weld this in. This makes your life really easy, no guessing on tuning. You can dial your bike in perfectly. So in short, 
A wideband O2 sensor is one of the most valuable tools that you can put in your toolbox. Gone are the days of pulling your plug and looking at the color. It's not accurate. You can tune your carburetor with zero guesswork with a wideband O2 sensor. It can be adapted to multiple bikes, multiple engines. Got them on the website. Appreciate you guys. Thank you.